And you know, especially, I, I don't want to divert, but um, you see with the whole LGBT thing, mm -hmm. okay, um, most of the conversations that we are having about it is not coming from a place of of honesty, to be very honest. It, mm -hmm. It's just coming from a place of repeating and rehashing the same old narratives which have been told to us over and over again. And I, I, I really expect that our journalists should actually be the ones to have done their homework before these politicians come and sit there and say all these things that they say. But it looks like the journalists and Kazakhs, they just, they, they, I don't know, they are so, like, yes, I'm I just, I just don't, I just don't know what to say. Like, it, it's crazy. But, but hold on. Neil, what, what's your take on that, though? Okay, so, with regards to the LGBT thing, yeah, um, I'm coming from a place where I, I honestly believe that um, people should be left alone mm -hmm. to have whatever lifestyle choices mm -hmm. they want to have. Mm -hmm. As long as, again, I want to add this, and I want to be emphatic on it, as long as it is consensual and it does not harm or affect any other person, I don't see anything wrong with people doing whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm saying this is because... Um, most of the conversations that have gone down about the LGBT thing, right? Mm -hmm. They are just they, some of the arguments do not make sense. Okay, and if you allow me, I can I can just probably say like one or two. Go on. Um, one of the arguments that do not make sense to me, okay, is the one that goes like, if um, LGBT people should be allowed to um, do whatever they are doing. Then I'm robbers and rapists and uh, other people who do other stuff who should be allowed to do what they are, they are, they are like they want to do. Mm -hmm. Th that argument is is not is not is not correct. It's it's, it's not it's not a sensible argument to have. I haven't heard um, that though, but yeah. Oh, people people say that a lot on the internet. If you read some of the comments, somebody say that if LGBT people are asking that they are asking for you know to be themselves. Then I'm the best rapist, pedophile. What, what they actually, like what they actually argue about over here is, if they allow the LGBT law, they need to allow the pedophiles as well. That's what. Yeah. That's that's what they're saying yeah. over here, over here in the UK. But the whole I'm rubbish stuff, I haven't heard it. But you see, me coming from Ghana, knowing how they move, even not even just Ghana, all over the world, I think they overdo stuff. When you give them a yard, they want to take more than that. You understand? And okay, so okay, so 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 let me let me just break down that argument and see why it doesn't make sense. Mm. The reason why it doesn't make sense is that um, you cannot conflate you cannot conflate um, two consenting adults having sex to arm robbery. The reason why that that is so is because the people having sex they consented to having the sex, mm -hmm. but you do not consent to an arm robber stealing your stuff. If you consent to somebody stealing your stuff, it is no longer stealing. It becomes borrowing your stuff, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. If you fire stick gives if you fire stick consents to me taking one of your sneakers, I didn't steal that sneaker, I borrowed it, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Okay. So why would you put like something that happens between two consenting people in the same bracket as arm robbery? When you know clearly well that arm robbery there is, there is no consent over there. When people are raped, they do not consent to the sex. That is why it is called um, um, rape. Okay? Mm -hmm. But then, the people have repeated those same... I mean, I, I, want, I honestly want us to have conversations where it comes from a place of, like, having intellectual conversations as compared to just saying, uh, saying the same old things that have been said to us over and over again without us critically analyzing uh, and, 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 and what, what was said to us, if, if that makes sense. Because every time we keep repeating the same old narratives that was told to us and we don't critically analyze um, and it. We just take it hook, line, and sink, and then we, we keep repeating it. Right. Nia, are you good? Yeah. Right. 
So listen. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. But up what they you could more than six gays a meet down. Yes, I've, I've, I've actually have friends who are who, who are homosexuals. Oh, right, I cool. am not a homosexual. I'm a straight person. I'm very straight. Oh, but I, I asked you, but I, I, I asked you if you were gay and you said yes. No, you never asked me if I was gay. Ah, that's what I asked first. Anyway, listen. No, usually when, no, when, no, when, usually no, when they meet. I'm not gay at all. All right. No. <laughs> so listen. No. Usually when we see videos of a gay gathering, yeah. they, they over react over be you know, they misbehave like they they get naked they listen recently there was a video of the transgenders that went to i think the white house or something they saw biden and this transgender with they are you know they are boots and that she took off she raised her shit showing he raised her, his shit basically he or whatever he, he, whatever raised okay. what, the top and show and like was showing that breast, which okay, real females don't do, do won't do that. You understand? Anytime you give them an opportunity, they they abuse it. You understand? If you if you see, listen, even Ghana gates when you see them on. No, 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 I, want, I, want, I want to clarify something first before you go on. Yeah. Um, the mistake the LGBT community made by themselves. You know what their biggest mistake is? What? Their biggest mistake is coming together. To become like an umbrella community and because fighting I, everyone. Yes, that was the mistake they made because um, when they were just L different, J different, B different, T mm. different, like as individuals, like splinter groups, mm. like they were fighting, you know, as individuals, and then they felt like, oh, okay, there is strength in numbers, so. We have to come together to fight as a united front. And that has been, like, the biggest problem I've also had with them. Because what has happened is that the L, the J, and the B, they've been very sane or normal. But the T, the Q, and the I, and the rest, that, that nonsense that comes with, with, with it, mm. those people always do things which make the... The L, the G, and the B look bad, if mm. that makes sense. Because we yeah. were just talking about, I said a transgender did that, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So it's the T, the Q, the I, the A, and the blah, blah, blah. But sometimes it's not even the T lot, though. Sometimes even the the um, the G lot, they, they overdo it sometimes, you know? Like, when they go to parties, the way they will dance, you know? I feel like they can dance normally, like like normal, like, but they get out of character and start doing all sorts of weird shit, and which um, is not already the thing they do. Okay. It's not even allowed. So yeah. compose yourself. Like, what I say, yeah. you know, yeah. compose yourself. But, yeah. uh, but I'm born with film and bear. There's one on TikTok called now about Oto no Shipu. Yeah, it's very disgusting behavior on TikTok. So if you say, see okay. if you somebody where you be. You day you be like minister for Ghana. You, you it, that shit go turn you off. That shit no go make you go make you go pass that shit for them. Cause some and what did they do? They, 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 they yeah, I was I was even coming to that. Okay, mm. one of the other mistakes that we've made is to suggest and to think that the LGBTQ people have asked for legislation in Ghana. And anybody can quote me. I know there are hundreds of, maybe hundreds and thousands of people listening. Um, there has not been a single time where the LGBT community has asked for legislation of the LGBT in Ghana. Never. Not once. So what, what, was, what was the Prime Minister's agenda? Um, the American Prime Minister's agenda? Okay. So here's the thing. Let, let me let me let me make the point I, I want to make. Um, the LGBT community in Ghana, right? Mm -hmm. We have I've read their stuff. I've followed some of their. No, but we are open minded. If you be some, if you feel free. Oh. No, I am not. I am not gay. Okay. I am not gay. Okay. I mean, all my friends in the in probably listening could see they are down there. I'm not gay. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just repeating some of the arguments we've had in private about some of these things. Because I feel like we should be we should be having arguments coming from a place of intellect, not just repeating the same old things that yeah, people yeah, have yeah. said to us. Wow. 
Yeah. So the thing is that um, the LGBT community in Ghana, mm. they've never asked for legalization, okay? Right. What they ask for is that if somebody identifies as LGBT, um, they should not be discriminated against or be seen as less of a human being. Right. Right. Okay, because the truth is that nobody can legalize sex. You can legalize sexuality, but you cannot legalize sex. Mm-hmm. If, if the government of Ghana woke up and said that all of us should have doggy style sex in our rooms, how are they going to be able to know that people actually had doggy style yeah. and not any other style? Yeah. So you cannot legalize sex. However, you can legalize sexual identity and and gender and all those things. The LGBT community in Ghana have never even asked that their sexual identity be legalized. Right. They've only asked that their sexual identity be respected. Or that when somebody identifies as whatever, um, you should not like discriminate against them. You should not deny them access to education. You should not deny them access to healthcare. You should not deny them access to um, you know, like any other, like any other service that you provide a normal straight person like myself. Right. That that is what they've asked for. Now, another there's a propaganda technique, right? There's a propaganda technique which Sam George has been using all the time. In fact, there are two propaganda techniques mm-hmm. which Sam George uses all the time, mm-hmm. and it's it, it's very interesting that people do not see through his arguments. Sam George. Sam George always has this thing that he says that um, the LGBT community is coming for his kids and they are coming for our children. They are coming for our kids. Now, let, let, let me say this here. That propaganda technique, right, is called the moral panic propaganda technique. Anybody listening can just Google it. The moral panic p- propaganda technique. Mm-hmm. It's sort of to create a certain panic about something when that panic does not exist. Right. Now, let me give an example about about it. When we were young and Facebook and social media came, when Twitter, Facebook and social media came in the early 2000s, mm-hmm. we had men of God, pastors, leaders, who were all over the place talking about the fact that, hey, and social media is from the devil, and Facebook is Illuminati, Twitter is from, is from the devil, and Mark Zuckerberg is 666. I mean, they still, they, they still say it though. They still say it. They don't say it though, exactly. But here's the thing today we have Alpha Hour on Facebook, don't we? Yep. So it was just to create a certain moral panic when it did not exist. And that is a propaganda technique. The second propaganda technique that Sam George uses often is called poisoning the well. Poisoning the well propaganda technique. Poisoning the well is like, you ask a question, but rather than waiting for the opposition to respond to the question that you've asked, you, you answer then answer yourself. the question for the opposition mm. as well. Mm. So you ask me a question, you don't wait for a new question. You don't wait for me to answer the question or to give you the valid points that I'm supposed to give you. But then you then, then decide to answer the question for me in your own way, which you think is, the, is, is what is correct. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. And, and that's what, that, that has been the conversation that has, has, has happened back and forth. There's this, there's this thing that people also say that um, animals do not engage in homosexuality. And so why do human beings engage in it? That is also very, very false. Because yeah, animals do. Yes, animals do. In fact, in fact, researchers in 2014, there was a, there was a research that said that homosexuality is very ripe in sheep. Sheep, mm. sheep. Yes, you can you can take it online. In, in, sheep, there be some animal power. Sheep. When they call you say sheep, sheep. Yes. Sheep. Yes. So the, the the homosexuality was found in beetles, in sheep, in fruit bats, in dolphins, in orangutans. So when you say that animals do not engage in it, you are just you are just being intellectually dishonest. Like you are you are not being sincere to the to the argument and that is also a that's also another propaganda technique you know mm-hmm. I, I mean we could we could we could go on and on but my point is that fine ghana is is predominantly a christian country and so yes but then 
the thing should come from a place of intellectual debate. Mm. If that makes it, it shouldn't come from a place of 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 propaganda. If you are going to be arguing, argue. Let's argue or let's have that conversation based on. Let's let it be intellectual. Don't let it be repeating the same old narrative which was repeated to us. And one of the one of the, one of the, lie, the greatest lie is that it is not part of our culture. No, it's it's a lie. It's a lie because fire stick. You and I know that along the coast, right? Mm-hmm. When the white man came here, yeah, it, it, yeah, 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 yeah. The white man settled along the coast. Yeah, the coast, um, who Cape Coast. Um, that mm-hmm. is where um, the homosexual people and all those people, they are there pre- predominantly, yeah. right? When the white man came here and the white man landed at, at the dock with his, ships, with, with his ships and his guards and his gunpowder and was coming for our slaves. They brought that thing along with them. For real. And put it here. And so, what you, and so the people who we are talking about, they've been here for at least the last... Maybe eighty years or more, yeah. right? Yeah. So when you just wake up in two thousand and twenty-three, and then just make up an argument and say that um, they are they are not it's not part of our culture, it is false. For because when you, de- when you when you define culture, culture is defined as a way of life, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And culture itself is not culture in itself is not static. Culture is dynamic. Yeah. Culture, culture, culture revolves. It it changes. That is why, um, there was a time when we were not wearing clothes, but then now we wear clothes. Yeah. The, the fashion sense of the nineteen eighties is not the same fashion sense as now. The, yeah. the, culture is dynamic. Culture is not static. Mm-hmm. And so that is another false premise that, uh, um, people people also use. And then finally, finally, I just want to make this final point. Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. right? Who um, who was who who was um, sort of like a, a rabble rouser? Mm-hmm. Um, when, when Jesus Christ was born, um, the Jews he was a Jew, mm-hmm. and the Jews were in the minority to the Roman Empire, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So the Jews have always been sort of like people who have been oppressed. I mean, if you check through history. The Jews have always been oppressed from the time they were in Egypt to um, when Adolf Hitler tried to exterminate them mm-hmm. to now they are fighting in, in Palestine with, the, with, with Israel over land and all those things. Mm-hmm. The Jews have always been oppressed. Now, Jesus Christ was born at a time when the Jews were very, very oppressed. And so the Jews saw him as the Savior. person who was going to save them from the oppression. Yeah. In, in that, it was supposed to be the person to take political control and then save the 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 the, 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 the Jews from the um, from the oppression uh, oppression of the of the of the Roman Empire. Mm-hmm. That did not happen. Now here's where it gets interesting for me. I read the whole Bible, or I've read the Bible, the New Testament, and not one single time. Did Jesus Christ ever speak about homosexuality? Which is very weird because Jesus Christ spoke about so many things that the Romans were doing which was not good. He spoke about what, what about the Old Testament? Okay. So so here's the here's here's where it gets interesting for me. Right. Um anytime you're arguing with Christians about the Bible and stuff, they like to cherry pick. Right, cherry picking is. You, you know, I, I don't know how to put it right, but for every position that you hold as a person, you can find a Bible verse to back that position. Mm-hmm. Do you know that? For every position you hold as a person, you can back. A, you can find a Bible verse to back to that back position. It. Right. That is why. That is why slavery. That is why slavery happened for a very long time before it was cut. Because I mean, the Old Testament. Allowed, allowed, allowed for for, for slavery, okay. Mm-hmm. But my point is that the biggest person, right, the most important person in the history of Christianity, never breathed a word about homosexuality, even though he lived at a place or in a time 
when it was very, very rife and rampant, he spoke about a lot of things. He spoke about um, um, the Jews being overtaxed. He spoke about the Jews being more treated. He spoke about the second coming of the kingdom of God. He spoke about loving your neighbor as yourself. He spoke about so many topics, right? Mm -hmm. But he never for once touched on the topic of that. Even though he lived at a time when it was very, very rife and it was rampant. And, you know, the Bible, the Bible allows you to cherry pick. And so what happens is that I can say that I do not eat pork. I do not eat pork because in the Old Testament, um, God said you should not eat pork. Another Christian will argue that he's allowed to eat pork because in the New Testament, the same God said that um, and he, whatever he has made clean, you should not make unclean. Right? Mm -hmm. So the Bible is such that you can always cherry pick and put whatever position you want. And you'd always find a you would always find a verse in the Bible to pick up that position. Mm -hmm. Right? In, in numbers, for example, numbers three, the Bible supports abortion. I mean if you check in numbers numbers chapter three, the Bible supports abortion. I mean mm -hmm. that if your wife cheats on you, you should give her a concoction and you should drink that concoction, blah 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 blah. I, I, I don't know how the conversation has just switched from what it was to this. But yeah, well, it's interesting, so why not? Yeah, I just I just wanted to let us know that, look, we can have conversations about all these kind of things, mm. but let, the, let those conversations come from a place of 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 inter, 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 intellectualism. Let us have conversations where it's intelligent. Don't allow these politicians to always use propaganda, to always, like, play with our minds, and then we don't always like to apply our critical thinking skills. Mm. Because when somebody says something, as supposed to listen to what the person is saying, and then you apply critical thinking skills to it. Now, the final thing I want to say is the argument that people say that if 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 if, if my father and my mother were key, how would I be here? That is a very, very dumb argument for your stake. If somebody says that you, and the person has gone to the university, the person should actually go back for his school fees because that argument is very, very dumb. The reason why the argument is very, very dumb is that our parents choosing to have us, our parents choosing to have us was their choice. Do you agree, fire steak? Yeah. That my parents choosing to have me was a choice, yeah. right? Yeah. Is, is, is it not a choice? Yeah, it was. If, 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 if I decide not to continue my family tree or my family, it doesn't make sense because there are still women who are barren. Are you there? Yeah. There are men who are impotent, are in there? They are. There are Roman fathers who say that um, they do not want to implement a religious choice, are in there? They are. There are nuns who say that they do not want to um, um, have men and have sex, are in there? They are. There are people who are disabled who cannot have kids. There are people who through accidents and um, who through diseases will not be able to have ch will not be able to bear children even if they wanted to. And yeah, but even 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 with Genesis, Adam and Eve. Yeah, I don't think God's plan was for them to reproduce, because they didn't know they could do that. Yeah, but I I, I just want, I just want to finish up my point and, and make it, it's a it's propaganda. It's just moral panic to create a certain thing like hey, we are so concerned about procreation. Whatever happens, human beings as a species. We've survived this earth for the last what what years, and we are still going to survive this earth regardless of whether the LGBT community exists or not. Right. Yeah, I, I think I'm I'm done here. And Big yourself, man. Like I also want to say something to Bongo idea. Yeah, go on. Very intelligent person. Um, I I I like I I've read his writing. Okay, I I after when he had an issue with. Nana, I actually went to read some of his articles and I realized that he's a very prolific, he's a prolific writer. Mm -hmm. Like, he can express himself very, very well. But then, he also, I don't know, some stuff that the other people on Twitter do, he also still does it. It's, like you see, it's a numbers. It's a numbers thing. You see, when you fall for it, you end up being lame. So yeah, it's, it's like he's every he's everywhere when you're supposed to just pick up like pick a side or pick yeah, that's his problem. 
That's his problem. He's not been able to pick a side. He's not been, he's not been able to pick a side. That's his problem. Is that you are on the enlightenment side or you are on the other side? For you, real. you can't. You can't play all the sides. You can't. Yeah, you can't, you can't do it. Way. You can't. Why yeah. man? Because you're trying to appeal to everybody, and at the end of the day, then you appeal to nobody. So, you, yeah. you understand? You, you understand? But at the end of the day, you end up appealing to no one. Exactly. So, that would yeah. be the thing where they go over boom with head, no. But yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you very much, Eddie. Thank, thank you, thank you, bro. All right. Um. Seven days out. Watch it. We don't get it. Go out with now. In case you should marry. You want to go. You want to go on the way. I don't know. The, the gentleman we just talked with, he did. Bro. Yeah. I don't know if um, he's traveled outside Ghana before. Um, But you see, this LGBT team. Mm hmm. Me, I don't care what somebody won't do for a bedroom mm -hmm. because me, if me, I won't, I won't bang woman. Me, I know the gun now to the world say, Charlie, this be what you want to do yeah. for somebody to accept. Yeah. So if you decide to do that, that's your problem. Like, you no, know, keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Nobody want to know. Um, I'm just trying to enroll my three year old kid for school, right? Yeah. And from the main entrance of the school to any inside the school, the gym, whatever it is. You know, Full LGBT. The first, we'll see. the first thing from the gate, the first thing we'll see is them. Child. All the way throughout the school. Three year old kids. Bro. You understand? And me, my field of work, no? It'd be about programming human being. And human being, human being programming, it kind of make like cooked egg. Where you won't come out the skin. Mm -hmm. it, it don't if you knock them one time, then come out the skin. No, if it knocks more, yeah, knocks yeah, more, yeah, knocks yeah, more, yeah, knocks yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. You see, if you go to the grocery stores, most of the kids, they ma, they ma, they ma, they ma cereal or you be the way they, they, they put for top. Mm -hmm. Um, my my older kid, you know, in bus way they can't pick them. You know, they get toys for the bus stop. Most of the toys be um, um, rainbow colors. Mm -hmm. he, he go somebody in birthday, the kid with the share give them you know, the caps, the toys, everything that they give them is them. You see how they do program them. So with time, you know, it will look normal. If um you see some George toxic. In kids, they're coming for the you kids. Probably, probably you don't even understand what he's saying mm -hmm. because he's probably gone beyond and see what yeah. he's been done. You yeah. see, Kamalaris, you no know, we start American taxpayers money, fly from Ghana with private jets mm -hmm. with the whole security. Mm -hmm. Can't talk about this thing if they don't make serious about it. Right. You understand? But how are they going to do it? Because now they're coming for your kids, like they said. They they, they celebrate Pride Month for here. Yep. They're telling you they're coming for your kids and they are not playing and they're coming for your kids. For here, my kid is, you know, each and every morning, I ask the boy, is your sister a girl or a boy? He will tell you, say, his sister be girl. I will ask his sister, your brother be boy or girl? He will tell you, and every morning, they will practice that thing. Mm -hmm. Because you, if he leaves you where he goes, school, he go school for eight hours. What did they tell him for there? You don't know. What did they tell him and for there? You yeah. don't know. You don't know. You, know, you understand? They will tell him, say, your sister is D. D. Like, and if you know what, right now, the, the most the scary thing to say, they don't go seek my consent if my kid won't trans. No, 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 no. They don't go seek. It, they pass a lot that they will know. It. So I think Florida just, we just passed one way. I think they, they, they are the ones talking about all the other states. You know. They don't need my consent. If they keep saying that, yeah, it will feel, they go refer him to a doctor, they go talk, they go see him, they, they, go, they go do and give up. Easy. When they cut for him, no. Easy. Easy. And if, if you're a parent, that's very scary because a three year old kid, what does sexuality have to do with a three-year-old kid? Of all the things that a kid needs to learn in this world. For real. Programming. I program man. You, un you understand? And don't forget that 10 years, 20 years down the line, who are those who, who are who are those guys that are going to be in parliament? Them. It'll be them. We will be out. Okay. 10, 20 years, it'll be them. And this are we first we'll show you, we we'll show you how clear. Everybody's scared of you. Now it'll be normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even normal. Even if you know they do say if they look if they look tall boy or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's 10, 20 years down the line, this thing, I don't care. You can do it, but the way that they shove it down people's throat, it'd be is crazy. Like the way it'd be, it'd be very crazy. My job my job become clear. 
Because example be Sam Smith. Sam Smith they show we full ass cheeks. Meanwhile, even females they show full ass cheeks like that. I said I work with some lady. Eh? I start working with some lady five years down the line. The lady say the trans. We company pay for her full surgery, close to like twenty thousand dollars. Wow. Eh, she trans from a woman to a man, straight. I stopped talking to her because with time, no people. If you say, if they refer to her as a woman, no, you they shut up because you know I accept her. What I say, you know, be so wait. It did take me time to reformat. Yeah, yeah to process that. It's not. It's quite. It's not yeah. easy. I've known you as a woman for a while. You understand? So yeah. if I say I'm not high, high, I keep moving. You, you understand? Yeah. When the guy they talk about the Bible and everything, hey, if you decide that that's what you want to do, that's your problem. Keep it to yourself. Don't don't seek validation from me because I'm not going to give you one. Okay. And anybody else. Nobody owes you any validation. If you decide that's what you want to do, no problem. Do it. Why do you need a, a, a legislation for it? Mm-hmm. You you are you are you are yeah. better because now you won't make everybody out. Why people for accept you? If you don't say you okay, do your thing. Why is somebody for accept you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, just do your thing. They, you uh, on the on the discrimination part of it, that be what you need to start saying. Everybody is being discriminated against. Right. The, the, the boy will get two girls. They know they discriminate against them. See, anyway, he, he come back. He come back. So I uh, believe inside for him. Make you know. Yeah, yeah. This conversation, me, I know. You see, I know. I'm to talk too much about her because the way. Did they shove it down when I throw it for here? I'm not sure. See, did they shove it down then I throw it like that for Ghana? Down to yeah, down to get point for that side. Um, you, I think I want to say something. Okay. Yeah. Um, he has made you know he, he I think he was going to think me when I was talking. When I was talking, I said that the mistake of the LGBT community was what that they became what an umbrella. Is mm. that what I said? Yep. And the L, the G, and the B, and the T decided to come together to become one mm -hmm. because the T, the T, again, the T, the Q, the I, the whatever, they're the ones doing all these other things which are not. I said that. Did I not say that? Twice? I said the one that was making my submission. You did, you did. That, and, and when you were talking, he mentioned, he mentioned, the way you're talking, I listened to you. Firstly, let me make this emphasis. I am not a homosexual. Okay. But you, you they sound like one, I don't go lie. You, you they sound like one, wow. So no, you what? No. The way they talk no, soft, no. I never even mentioned I said I listened to whatever you said. I never call you up. You are not okay. Even though my heart, I know how I feel about you, I never said anything. If I say something, you will fit me or not. Oh no, I don't see anything like that. But oh, man, but the way you sound, yeah, I swear, bro. You left skates, Pepe. You left skates, Pepe. Quiet. I'm not. If you be some, if you then you're God. If not be some, if you then you're God. No, I am not. I am not. The, the, the thing is that I just wanted, I just wanted to make a point that he was missing. Um, he said that Kamala Harris came from US and came to talk about LGBTQ, which is false. It is false. Now. Oh. Let me see this. No, no, let me talk. Let me talk. talk. The video is out there. I listen to you. When you talk, I listen. Let me talk. When you talk, I listen. Charlie, let me talk. 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 All day is highway with the thing say you be some no. Let me talk, talk. Talk, talk. Let me break down. Let me talk, 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 talk. When Kamala Harris, when Kamala Harris came to Ghana, right, and they were doing the meet the press with the president of Ghana, one of the journalists decided to ask that question. Okay. And then, then the president responded, and then, then Kamala Harris also responded. You are making it seem as though Kamala Harris flew her plane from U.S., came here, and decided to talk about it. No, 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 no. hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't forget, say, the old Flagstaff house, they changed the color. Oh. They give them some rainbow colors that, that day. Oh, no, that, that, that. That is also, that is also propaganda. The oh. color, the color hey. that Yo, was not rainbow what do you mean propaganda? Colors. What color was it then? The color, the color at the, the Flagstaff House was not rainbow colors. Bro. What was it, it was then? It's not Ghana flags. It's not Ghana colors as well. Flag. Bro, it was not, it was not LGBT colors. And it was not Ghana flags as well. It, it wasn't red, gold, green. What, was it a French flag or what? It'd be a, 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 blend, a blend of US flag and Ghana flag. Or which one? It wasn't it? as well. What? When I saw the flag, the flag looked like a blend of the US and the Ghana flag. If you say we don't have enough colors, if you say that we don't have enough colors, that'd be why. But the goal was to represent the rainbow colors. But on a big Ghana, can it be a far? I bet on a big, a big goose. 
You know, that'd be why the team. I just, I, just, I just want to. I just want to bring. I just want to bring some one, some something that you said. Um, I just want to just um, re, um, just retrace something that you said. That look personally, okay. Mm. I am coming from a place where I feel like. I want to come out of the closet. Do you want to come out of the closet or something? I think you need, no. you need, your, your closet is probably showing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like, bro, bro, I have sex with girls. I was in Lego and I was in Pink Hollow, bro. Hey, like, Charlie. I, 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 Charlie, I have sex with girls. I was in Lego. What's up, Charlie? Do you, still, I'm here in the dance. Me, me, me. I feel so small. Maybe you be bi. Maybe you be bi. You see all the people that come out of the closet, then that's what they do. Then they say oh, they know if you hide again. Mm, maybe need be bi. <laughs> need, we we are minded. We we accept you. You know. No, no, make a point. Like you, you keep you keep you keep bringing all these unnecessary like things to the to the conversation. Oh no! Um, like basically, anyway, go on, go on, go on. He, he has made some points, and I just want to like. I am address some of the things he has said. Right. Um, you made a point about your kids being indoctrinated and yeah. the LGBT community coming after his kids, right? Is that, yes. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. What I said. Exactly. Okay, so I, want, I just want to ask you a question. If if you can just answer me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If if two straight parents, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If two straight parents mm -hmm. could not prevent a child from becoming homo. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. How then can two homosexual parents prevent a child from becoming straight? Okay, you see, they get people. Eh? They get people where they will tell you so. Um, they be females trapped in the man's whatever it is. You understand? I'm a yeah, mental health therapist. <laughs> no, but the trans people are not. They are. No, but they are under the same people. umbrella. <laughs> Over and and that was the mistake the LGBT. I've said this over and over again that that was the mistake the no, LGBT. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to explain to me. You understand? Because me, I take but a whole course, my job. My job make I go take a whole course on it. So say they go break them down for me. Make I know so uh, it's just so high whatever it is. This you know make I show you how they start the thing. They start the thing so they won't talk about like what was any inclusion, like minority which are blacks. Oh, the, the first thing they talk about blacks and racism. The bro, second understand, 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 bro, I understand all the points. Understand all the points you're making, and I am. I'm so. I don't know. Maybe sorry on the part that your kids have been exposed to. No, but do you story. know? Do you know? Do you know? I've signed a consent, right? Understand. Do you know? Do you know? I've signed a consent that if before they teach anything about sexuality to my kids, they have to let me know. Of course. I mean, that's why you should be responsible. No, no, no. That's why I shouldn't be worried about what the school teaches my kids. But if I have to be worried about what, what my school teaches my kids, then, then that becomes a problem. Because now, they can't filter between what's adult content and what's kids' content. Now, they show everything that they are truth. And which a kid at, at a three doesn't need to know about sexuality. That's the list of things that they need to know. Okay, I, 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 I completely agree. With, with that with that statement but then you also made a certain statement about transitioning of kids right yeah the american population the entire american population is 331 million people okay. right what country do you live in america right yeah okay do you know the number of people that have actually done uh, uh, transitioning in the entire america because I, I that's that's not of my interest so i'll not even do a research on it so should i tell you no, I don't want to know. It's four thousand. It's four thousand total. Okay. Out of the because it's very expensive. No, hold on. Out of a population of three hundred and thirty-one million people, I four thousand. Very expensive. People. How many? The average American doesn't have two hundred k sitting down there. They are the good trans. They are not. They are not. You see, they are failing to get. They are failing to get. No, no. I'm telling you, sir. If it be cheap, like yes. the ten dollar way, they will feed carry good. We will see yes. a lot of them do. Listen, out of the book, again, I'm, I'm using statistics here right now. Yeah, out I'm, of the book, I'm what you're saying. Uh -huh. 331 million people, right? Only 4,000 total have done transitioning. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question, right? Statistics, okay, right? I'll, 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 I'll ask you another question. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Like, mm -hmm. we, are, we are holding the point. Secondly, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know children 
who have done plastic surgeries and Botox and all those things in America who are under the age of 18. Like I said, that's not my interest, so I don't even do a research on it. That, that's 250,000 plus plastic surgeries for kids. Okay, so so which includes so, body mo modifications like tattoo, body, um, body piercings <laughs> or what? Yes, so the point, the point so, I'm just trying okay, to let you know. Okay, 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 ne, 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 you, yeah. see, you see, yeah. make I tell you, I get gay friends, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I get gay friends, smart, love uh -huh. you, you understand, whatever they do in their bedroom, yes. that's their problem. You, you understand? Yeah, Tell me, say, body mod modifications. The average 16 year old American kid at least had two or three tattoos. No, I'm, talking about, kid. I'm talking about surgeries. I'm not talking about. No, but I ask you, all accounts, all accounts to that statistics, like piercings, like these earrings, like like loop earrings that you wear, the kids, and them, all that part kind of body, mod body modifications, right? So, so, so the question No, but, but tattoo is not plastic surgery. No, but I say, I say it's all part of body, body modification. modification. Yeah, but, but, but I'm talking about the number of kids who have actually done like Botox, plastic surgery, nose and those are all considered body modifications, and that's what yeah. I'm saying. No, that's the big umbrella. They okay, are considered but, body modifications. Yeah. So, whether you, and I'm saying up, you do that plastic surgery, people, you do tattoo, you say your, your earring, do all, they are all considered yeah. body modifications. Yeah. So, if we get like uh, 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 200,000 kids who did loop earrings and tattoos and probably 50 or whatever it is that, that did surgery or Botox now. That doesn't account say plenty of people do um, plastic surgery. No, because like I said, the average American kid has at least two or three tattoos. Wait, hold on. The reason why I mentioned that statistics in okay. terms of the, number, the population of America and the number of people who have actually transitioned mm -hmm. is, is just so that you would know that this is just a moral panic, okay? Because it's not this a moral happen. panic. Hey, do you, know, do you know the amount of hormones that you need to be on? Big man, if, if this was actually it. a problem, if this was actually a problem that you are trying to, because compared to 250,000 kids, already have had some sort of body, um, modification. body modification, plastic okay. surgery, but not. Nose fillers, nose enhancement, no, what are they talk, say, whatever. Me, me, me. So, what are they talk? All those fillers, all those things that they talk about, right? The big umbrella, they are all considered body modifications. Then when you come at the arm, no, you will see tattoos, you will see body piercings, you will see all these things on the arm. You understand? So if you start, like here they tell you, see, the average American kids has at least two or three tattoos. With but different size of earrings that they wear, so they, that then, that two things will probably then, make up more then, then, of that. Let me check. Let me check. Let me talk about modifications. Let, that's what I'm saying. Let, 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 let me check it again. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll check it because I know that the number of kids who have actually done plastic surgeries in America. Okay, so the number. I'm coming. Me, let me tell you, yeah. Americans go to Mexico, they go to um, Turkey to go do plastic surgery because it'd be very cheap for them. They don't even pay for it. Even some of them said for dental procedures and they go to Mexico, do one. If ambulance carry you for here right now, it'd be 12k straight. They not treat you. Medical for here be very, like I said, my co-worker, if they work for state, the state paid for everything. I said they talk close to $200,000. How many average American People sit down having two hundred k. Say they go. Okay, so they do. Okay, so okay, so um, nearly two hundred and thirty, nearly two hundred and thirty thousand cosmetic plastic surgeries were done for kids. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Um, and is it kids that had accidents and then, or kids where the test won't go change okay. something? Hold on, hold on, um. 140,000 were non-invasive cosmetic procedures on okay. on kids that were it was performed on kids from the ages of 13 to 19. Okay. Right. What mm -hmm. the common type that the kids did was mm -hmm. nose job, correction of protruding ears, mm -hmm. and reducing their too large breasts, mm -hmm. asymmetrical, breasts, and then scarring caused by acne or injury. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Where did they get your statistics from? I'm looking on webmd.com. That's one no, of the leading. I want, I want you. I want you to go. Maybe if you want get information about America, make you go to the my health department. Then take all this no. information. Give me. 
Oh, this is, this is Web. This is Web MD. This is one of the leading medical publications in the world. No, but okay. I mean, like, I they talk, if you won't give me statistics about America, I'll prefer you go take it from the my health department and give me those statistics. Okay, but here the case have opened where, where, where Okay, no, yeah, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take it. That I'll take it. I'm this. Yes, it's actually, it's actually factually correct. You can, you can check it. You know, the reason why I only mentioned that during this numbers game is just so that you can understand that point of view that four thousand people out of a population of three hundred and thirty-one million. Mm-hmm. It's just sort of like an exaggeration. You are just, uh, you are exaggerating. You yeah, are not exaggerating. Me. I say, you know, be cheap. You, know, you are cheap. You are listening. You are listening. Just okay. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Eh? Yeah, I'm listening. That three hundred and something million or whatever they talk for, say the population be American. How many of the people yeah. that here be millionaires? That is two thousand six hundred and forty or so. So two thousand something. I'm I'm sorry. And you said it's grew one percent in book. So yes, billionaires is two thousand six hundred and something. I don't know about millionaires, but I know that billionaires is two thousand. It's around two thousand six hundred. Okay, so I'm telling you that the average American don't have the average American don't have two hundred and whatever case sitting down. Either they owe student loan, there's there's a debt on their head. The the American American system system okay, so, you think that the reason why the, the, the statistical numbers are low is because people cannot afford it? People cannot afford it, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so that's why uh, people are not transitioning more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because if you be cheap, like in the way they talk, say the people will transition, do that transition in their large numbers. Ah, okay, so you think that if the if it was cheaper, a lot of people yeah, would have... If the people want transition, they will transition. That's it, that's all I'm saying. But you know, be cheap. Okay, but but then but then he also agrees with my point of view that um, the same type of surgery that these people do to transition in terms of the changes that they do to their cells, mm-hmm. I think like when they when they do the the top surgery and the bottom surgery, yeah, um, it, um, it, 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 like comparatively, it's also like the type of plastic surgery that kids also go undergo. You agree with that? Okay, point so you see when you say kids undergo plastic surgery, right? I thought maybe. A kid with the accident with something kind of, you know, talking for the body waiting for refix for him. Or, no. you know, some of these things. Because they are all considered a, a, like a plastic surgery. Okay. Because, you know, they say they want to go through because they want to beautify something. But something happened where, you know, they feel like, you know, they want to do something to fix for him. I thought those were the numbers that were accounting for kids. Uh, but okay. you saying, say, that why I actually say, it be, it be, it be, it get from the Ameri- American medical, whatever, where you say, no, you give me the one, so okay. But I would prefer, say, you go get them from there so that then we can get an accurate information. Okay, but me, at, the, at the end of the day, me, at the end of the day, yeah, me, my whole, my whole, me, I, I would have been saying it, it's just like you're not really listening to me. No, no, you are not listening to me, you understand? I say, I don't know, see, did they show, did they show, did they show the LGBT down your throat in Ghana, like, did they, did they show them for, for one truth for you? Because, I'm yeah, not from from right from the gate from your house, it is stay at your face. Your neighbor, your neighbor get flag all over the place. Right from your door, it they show you from there before you go even enter wherever you go. You understand? Okay, okay, okay. So so let me ask you. So let me ask you this question right now. That's okay. what I asked you a question. You never even answered me. I'm saying which, which question that, did you answer that I never answered? I asked you, I asked you that if two straight parents could not prevent their child from becoming and Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. How can two homosexual parents then dis- dis- decide to stop a child from becoming straight? But hold on, hold on, Ni. Ni, how did the homosexual parents become parents, though? <laughs> how, how did that work? How did the homosexual parents become parents? Um, they adopted kids, just as everybody can adopt a child. So who bought the kids? Give them make the adopt. All right, thank you. We will finish you with that. Yes. Who bought the kids? Give them make the adopt. People who decided to have kids and they couldn't take care of those kids, and so they decided okay, to so, give up those kids. So you kids. see, you see, if people who decide not to have kids decided not to have kids for them to adopt, you know why? Make I give you some statistics. You see, this all these LGBT people for here, they be most of them where they commit suicide. They be more depressed than anybody else. Facts. And you'd have to give me no. You'd have to give me statistics and 
and real life data to back what you're saying. I'll not take what you're saying. Oh, bro, they do. They do call me a lot of suicides. Most of them regret even doing the surgeries and all that. That's when I was reading something, I showed you directly. It like, showed me a medical study that has been conducted which proves that um, the LGBT community is a, it's a, it's a depressed community. Like, okay, um, if, 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 if we have to do this again, I'll bring, if you come on out, because you were prepared to talk about that issue. So you were able to pull information for me. No, I'm, I'm not prepared, prepared to talk about this issue. No, you, you, you understand? It just, it just I talked about it and. Wait, wait, I tell you what I talk about before you jump in. I they talk about how they show the thing down my kids' throat. And you came back and you say you want to know what whatever that you wanted to do. Then now you're asking me for statistics. All I'm saying is yeah. the way that they show down for Ghana throat for here, it'd be different yeah. from the way they show down, down your throat for Ghana. Facts. Yes. And then and again, so, again, again, again. Yeah. Yeah, the facts, the facts must be clear and must be made. Okay. Which facts do you want? Okay. That they show me okay. down my throat okay. or what? No, no, no. The thing must be made again and again. I have said that I have listened to and read the press releases of the the, the minority or that community. Which minority? Which minority? The LGBT the LGBT community. They are not the minority. LGBT. They consider themselves minority. Nobody put them under minority. I'm not consider them also. No, but they are minority group. They are not minority. Ah, but they be the guy where he gets two girlfriends may be minority. Ah, wait, are they come on? So. The LGBT community in Ghana is not in the minority. Is that what you're saying? No, nobody con they themselves. You see, because they won't win public sympathy, they consider themselves minority. That's it. Nobody no, put them. No, in. No, why you use the word minority? Minority has to do with a numbers game. So majority no, is more hey, numbers. Minority no, is less. No, if you numbers. say numbers game, I know they are they are numbers, right? But yeah, we did we did America right now. Me, me, me I know they consider myself minority because if you look down on yourself, people are going to look down on you. No, but, but the black As community is in a minority in America. We can't themselves minority. That's what I'm saying. You see, everything is a state of art. Like you said, numbers game. It's numbers game. They are considered minority. You understand? Oh, my but do you know why they put them under minority? No, do you know why they put them under minority? Are they the the number? The, the, the amount of blacks we do here, right? The amount of blacks we yeah. do here. Okay. Are they they don't even count Africans? They only count Americans. No, I'm not. The number of, the number of Africans and um, do you know the amount of people in the They are still in the minority, bro. We can look at the number. No, you see, moving the things to the race now. We're talking about sexuality, and now you're moving it to race. No, I'm not moving it. No, 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 no you moved it. I didn't say anything about race. You, you say minority, and I, we were talking about sexuality. All of the study we are talking about black people. Anyway, this is motherfucking stunt one and the fucking building. Me don't talk, stunt talk. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs>